In today's video, I want to talk about goal setting systems that work. So here's the thing. There's all sorts of systems that are out there and actually the ones that do work have a lot in common. And so I want to unpack that for you today. Hey, it's Danny and I'm a chief ruckus maker over at Better Leaders, Better Schools. Not only are we going to talk about what uh, goal setting systems that work have in common, uh, this is coming out of a great meeting that I just had with three awesome school leaders in California who came across a, uh, a goal setting system that's new to me. It's called um, 4DX, I believe. Yeah. And it's something that uh, Covey and associates, you know, colleagues or whatever have uh, put together. And I haven't read the book, right? But my friend Justin Bader, he's awesome. Go check him out at the Principal Center. He tagged me in this giant Facebook principles group and said, talk to Danny. Well, and this is kind of like a, a side leadership thing, right? Imposter syndrome for a second. Can I still be of value in this coaching um, conversation if I haven't read the book? Well, I did my due diligence. I, I looked over what the system's about. And that's why I had the coaching call and why I'm making this video to continue to teach it and pay it forward is because Goal setting systems that work share the same traits. You know, I've heard people say that success leaves clues, which is true. So what is it about goal setting systems that work? All right, there's three, you know, three things at least that I want to identify. One, um, you do the work in public, right? So it's really important to show your work and to be transparent and authentic and not only to celebrate the successes, but to learn from the failures too. It's not about discipline. It's not about, you know, embarrassing people or shaming them, but learning from mistakes that we make so we could all get even better. That's something they share. They also share uh, a cadence of accountability too, whether that's some sort of weekly meeting or a daily huddle and that kind of thing. So any goal system that is worth its salt is going to have consistent regular meetings that are happening as well. Finally, and if you, you know, follow my work, you see this modeled all the time, but measure your success too. So not only do you do the work in public, have a scoreboard, right? Uh, I just went to my first Yankees game uh, last Saturday. It was an awesome experience. There's a huge, there's a massive scoreboard, right? And it tells me the runs, the hits, who's winning, who's losing, uh, strikes, balls, right? How many outs in the inning? So scoreboards matter, right? We don't play games just to play them. We play to win. And so scoreboards, like when it comes to goal setting systems, you have to keep score. So that's all I want to say in terms of what goal systems uh, have in common. Um, but I do want to highlight a couple insights from this coaching call we had before I wrap up this video. Uh, one of the leaders asked, Danny, what is the top reason schools fail to implement a goal setting system? I think it's that they go too broadly, too quickly. My mentor, Aaron Walker, says, would you rather be a mile wide and an inch deep, which would be going broadly quickly, or be an inch wide and a mile deep, which would be slowing it down, being very intentional with the rollout, uh, again, celebrating successes, learning to, from failures. So definitely, definitely, definitely don't go too fast. I highly encourage that you pilot any type of new initiative with a small group of uh, folks who are probably already really excited, right? Have momentum and are just waiting for you, the leader, to challenge them with a new idea. So that would be the top reason schools uh, fail implementing a system. I mentioned that success leaves clues. So just to review too, right? Model what you're all about as a leader. So with leaders that I coach in implementing specifically objectives and key results, the ones that do it well, they model it, right? They show their own professional and personal goals to their building, to their staff, to their parents before they even start doing like school-wide goals and that kind of thing. So model it, show your work in public. And then I have a personal value, which I uh, also use to identify leaders that I work with, but have and adopt a strong bias for action, right? We all, this comes from a, a book called um, Rework. It's rethinking how we work and from the founders of Basecamp. But anyways, he's, they did say, we all, I love this quote, we all have that one friend who says, I had the idea for eBay. If only I had acted on it, I'd be a billionaire. And J Jason and David say, that logic is pathetic and delusional. 
Having the idea for eBay has nothing to do with actually creating eBay. What you do is what matters, not what you think or say or plan. So that's why one of my personal goals, again, have a strong bias for action. All right, in wrapping up this video on goal setting systems that work, I have two things that I want you to consider and to take action on. One, we are halfway into a new program that I have called the Principal Success Path. You cannot join, all right? It is closed. So I am not sharing this to whet your appetite. There's seven content areas from 90 Day Plan and what's relevant to this conversation is there is a content section on goals, achievement, and accountability. So you can't join the program, you can't get the online community or the live group coaching calls, but a special offer. If you would like all the content in that section of the principal success path, and you wanna go deeper into goals, achievement and accountability, this special offers for you, and you could invest in just that section, that one section, it's a la carte, personalized to people who care about this topic we're talking about, and you could get that at a fraction of the cost too because you don't get all the content, you don't get the online community or the live co coaching calls. So that's number one. Number two, I have another free challenge coming up. So the last one we did about having the best school year ever, super fun, a few hundred leaders um, joined and it was absolutely free. This new challenge I designed is about culture. It's called Culture Boot Camp. It's also five days. And if you wanna take your school, maybe it's a turnaround situation, you wanna go from worst to first, or maybe you're already a pretty good school, but you wanna make it a great school, then the Culture Boot Camp will help you take your school to that next level, totally free. Link will be beneath the video, but it's also betterleadersbetterschools.com slash culture dash boot dash camp. So that's how we roll. Hope you enjoyed today's video. In the comments below, tell me your number one insight. Enjoy your day and go make a ruckus.